Today we're going to talk about Phlegmasia alba dolens and then Phlegmasia cerulea dolens. Uh, why are we talking about it? It's an extensive DVT of the iliofemoral vein. Uh, what do you do for DVTs, anticoagulation uh, with heparin? But that's the reason why we're talking about this, because this is a surgical emergency and the patient would need uh, thrombectomy or thrombolysis. So uh, this is the only DVT where you need uh, the person to undergo urgent thrombolysis or go to the operating room or IR for an urgent thrombectomy. So that's the reason we're talking about. So first we talk about Phlegmasia alba dolens. Basically, it's a white leg. You have an extensive iliofemoral DVT. Uh, the DVT is so extensive that and the leg swells up. The leg is white in color in this case. And then there is arterial compromise because of all the swelling. You see it patients with malignancy, pregnancy. Don't forget this one. And what do you do for these patients? You heparinize them, anticoagulate them, and then they would need a thrombolysis with altiplase uh, one milligram per minute to a total of 50 milligrams distal to the thrombus and if this fails you would have to undergo catheter directed thrombolysis now phlegmasia cerulea dolens is actually a spectrum of the first disease in this case the venous congestion has set in and that white leg that I was talking to you about in this case is going to be now pink and uh, purple rather with bullae um, and it will be extensive arterial compromise as well because of the swelling again you manage them with heparin anticoagulate you need to consult vascular for an emergent thromb uh, thrombectomy or IR for a catheter directed thrombolysis you can use altiplase one milligram per minute minute for a total of 50 milligrams. So the main reason why I discuss this is because you have to be urgent in your management plan of taking this patient to the IR suite or the OR suite for uh, thrombolysis, uh, which is different to other DVTs that we usually manage. Thank you.